This is Bino. Today we're going to make a three-point lanyard or a two-in-one lanyard from scratch. So uh, first thing we did is we went out and bought a 13 foot of this Firefly 11 millimeter rope. It's from New, New England. Um, that's going to be the main part of the lanyard. Um, we already ripped, whipped it. Um, we also have this ocean cord. It's 31 inch and 10 millimeter. It's eye to eye, Frank's Pressic. Um, also, we got a couple of these uh, double locking clips from our old uh, lanyard. We've got a ISC fixed pulley. Also, an oval Petzl carabiner. A regular, just any old clip will work, but this is the one we're going to be using. And a couple of half inch plastic thimbles. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the thimbles on these uh, clips here. So you just kind of pop them on. Hang on, man, it's kind of cold right now. Oops. Thought it was going to be easier. There it goes, boom. Okay, that one there. Uh, you don't really need to have these thimbles on it. I mean, you could just tie it directly onto the rope. But I kind of like the way it is, or the way it feels with these thimbles. Okie doke. Okay, so I already got the thimbles on. Now I'm going to put the rope through the eye of the, the clip. And then I'll just make my regular old double fisherman knot. So I'll make my double fisherman. I'll go one, two, around. And I'll go back through here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the length that I want. I'm thinking it's my finger length. That equals out to be about maybe about two, two inches, two and a half inches. Now I'm going to tighten up my knot. Let me see. This one here. There we go. So I don't lose the length. I'm going to pull this one and make it snug. So now I got about the right length I got. I'll make it tight. Okay, so that's about the right length that I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to snug this up, get closer. I'll set my thimble. And there, I got it about right. It's about the right length I have. Cool. You know, and then the more you put your weight on it, the tighter it'll get. So now I'll move to the next side. Do the same situation. Just throw the um, rope in through there. Make my double fisherman's knot. Two. Get the length that I wanted. So my finger. Now I'm gonna tighten it up. Let's see, right there. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. There we go. Get it all tight. It's about the length I want. Now I'm gonna start moving it toward the eye. I'll get closer. Set it. There we go. All right. So that's going to be each end. So this is each end of your lanyard. This will be a stopping end, and this will probably be the opposite end. OK? OK, so now I'm going to attach this um, eye to eye pressic cord with an English pressic. I'm going to do a three wrap English pressic. Um, because you can move it in each any direction you want. You can go back and forth. It doesn't have to be just, it's not one directional. So, I'm trying to let you see here. And then the third wrap here. Okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, you know, if, if three wraps is too much, you could probably go to a two wrap. But I think uh, it's going to work for us here on this one. So, there's our pressic here. Okay, now all I need to do is put the Petzl carabiner on it. That part's done. Let's see here. I, it's kind of tight, which is pretty good because you don't really want it to roll on you. So, I'm, I'm going to move it to the other side. So, when we decide to put it on our D ring, it'll be perfect. Okay, so the last step will be to put the little pulley, micro pulley with a clip. Um, the thing about an English press stick is it, it gets stuck in either way, you know, so you can go back or forth on the line. Now having this pulley, you connect the pulley on and the, onto the carabiner, right? Now you could tend with one hand. And if you didn't like to use it on that side, you could also switch it to the other side. <clears throat> and then you can tend with the other hand. 
And if you didn't like either of those, you could take that off. Just leave it, let it hang on your belt, and you're, you're, you should be, let me make it tight, you should be good to go in any way or move it with your hand if you wanted to. But I like this little micro pulley just for that extra one-handed motion if I was going to do it in that way. So that would be the full-on um, either three-point lanyard or two-in-one lanyard made from scratch. Okay, so here's the finished product um, pretty much in the way we wanted it. Um, the th the three-point or two-in-one lanyard um, customized to what we like. Um, all of this stuff is arborist grade. Um, you can actually do um, other things like you could put a, a pressic on another part of it. There's a pressic with an eye and you could use it as a choker. Um, sometimes it makes it more stability. Um, anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. There's also going to be uh, another one where I'm going to refurbish um, my old lanyard to turn it into one of these. I'll just replace the, a new rope, but I'm going to use all the old components. Um, we'll probably put a link for that once we create it. Alright, thanks.